Hi there, Mount Terry, and boy am I tired. All right, so I just finished part one of my van reconstruction. I uh, changed two things. I hated where my refrigerator was. I couldn't really access it properly, so I moved where my refrigerator was. And the other thing is, is I'm bringing a lot of stuff to the RTR, so I needed to put in some storage containers. So this is part one, and you can tell at the end it's looking pretty good. And part two will show you it's all done where everything goes. All right, bye and good night. All right, so what the plan is, is I'm moving these cabinets back here. So in order to do that, I have to empty these cabinets. This I'm getting rid of for right now because I'm getting rid of the refrigerator. I'm gonna try to do Max's thing. So uh, I got a lot of cleaning to do. Uh, wish me luck, oh my gosh, what a mess. But I'm not gonna bring extra things. I'm not going to bring my scooter. No use for the scooter out there in uh, Quartzsite. No place to scoot. That's sad. But I am bringing my Wolfie stick. Yay! All right, step one. Lucy's bin has been emptied. Yay! This is going to be so sweet. i got to find a place for my uh, butane stove. So here's some of the stuff I keep on the side. A couple of solar panels. Oh, I see you. I see you. That is for swimming. Usually back here, I'm going to move this back a few inches. That'll give Lucy and I some more room. And uh, usually it's my coat rack and stuff like that. Oh, and my flags for the side of the van. But there's a lot of storage in there. But we're getting rid of it. Why? Because more storage. Yay! All right, so that's my box for prepping. That's the end of the world stuff. And my candelier for heat. But uh, yeah, we're going to do different. In order to have different, we're going to do different. Oh, and down there, that is my tent. That's a nice reactive tent, I'm pretty sure. So that's all coming out. But this is what I have behind there. And uh, that'll get fixed up when I come back. I found a nice little storage thingy. So I have my little step ladder back here and a couple of things of uh, butane, an ice pack, little things that, uh, yeah. And why? Why? Because this can't get any closer to that. So that's a lot of wasted space. But we'll see. And then in here, this is where I carried my drawers, uh, my clothes. Kept a lot of clothes in there. And then if we go around to the other side, it's getting so nice in here. The other side, what did I keep in here? Of course, that's my cook stove, uh, granola bars, cup of soups, pistachios, and that is pepperoni. So yeah, this is all getting fixed, yep. Yeah, and of course, that's where I keep my little stove, but going, going, gone. I don't know what it's gonna look like, but it'll be interesting. All right, so this is what it looks like back there. So I'll show you some things. So this can come way back, which is good. I'm not sure if I can get it, like I might need it like an inch more closer to here. Not sure if that's gonna happen. Why? Because if there's any way I can manipulate my back cabinets, see right here, See this thing right here? If I can move my cabinets down like an inch and a half, it would be a lot better. I may have to take off the top part of this because right here is where the door closes. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of planning that's going to happen. I know definitely I can move this back. What I want to do is give Miss Lucy some more uh, interior space so everything's going to get unloaded right now. Huh, I'm tired already. I do want to point out down here, I do have some Reflectix that helps with the heat, and I do have uh, some carpet in and some leaves. Yeah, we'll be getting rid of the leaves. But uh, yeah, that's some insulation. This is some insulation. This is some insulation. Got to have insulation. It's going to be cold in quartzite. So first thing, detaching it. Yay. All right, so what I'm doing is removing all the carpet in. And this is some thick, rubbery, cushiony stuff. This could be why I don't really need a mattress or anything, but this is really good insulation too. So I normally have like two to three layers of this. Uh, this is what you use for standing up in the kitchen that I cut all apart and uh, lots and lots of these little throw carpets. So that's my insulation. Boy, I can't wait to clean this all out. This is gonna be fun. Oh, I just got to get that one out. That's why the carpets have to come out. I can't lift that. All right, so that's a lot of stuff out of my van. Here we go. These are what's in my drawers. And uh, this is what it looks like. 
those are all empty. Oh, I got those empty. But next, what I start doing was taking the tape off. I secured this cabinet to that cabinet. Use my electrical tape. Do so at your own risk, but that's what I do. And every year I come in and look at maintenance and make sure, like, see how that is? That's not a whole strip of electrical tape. That's all that's holding on. But I go through this every year and make sure it's holding up. These are holding up. These are holding up really nice. Anyhow, I see I have a few more things to take out. So I think I'll start by taking that out first. Yep. Take that out first. Oh my gosh. And this is all it is. It's just little itty bitty little zip ties. Zip tied tied. Yep, that's all it is. And that's a wood plank under there. Can you see the wood plank? That's been drilled through and zip tied too. So, uh, yeah, like I say, duct tape and zip ties. That's uh, my fan conversion. All right, and here's approximately where that little wood plank sat on. I can see I got to take out a couple of zip ties here and here. But uh, yeah, that was it. Cool. That's what my uh, drawer sat on. All right, what I'm doing is making note of my anchor point. So, you know, if I can take it apart, I can put it together. That's a thingy. And then up there, I know that uh, handle came off, but yeah. Okay, got it. All right, so what is the plan is to take them not all apart, just to detach them from the van. And let me put it, turn this around. And we can see this might move as a group and then the two up front may move as a group. So I'm just going to detach it in that one or two areas right there. So I'm not going to detach this one from that one. That one would be silly. I had to pull the drawer out to get my hand in there so the tape's removed now i'm going to keep doing just what i did ah lots of tape well we'll see how it works right all right so everything's out now what i'm going to start doing is cleaning it up mr louis has a little vacuum for me i can see we have some dog food oh gel silica packet and underneath here i have some really good wool so what is that one two i have three layers of insulation i took out my uh four, five carpets. So yeah, lots of insulation back here. And this afternoon, I'm just going to figure out what can I do with all this space? All right, we cannot find the canister vacuum good enough. I'm just going to do, there we go, just clean it up. I'll be done in five minutes. Yep, not a problem. Hey, Daiso, good job. All right, in order to move these back, I got to take this off. It's not moving as one unit. And then I got to redo the carpeting, but I thought I'd show you carpet. That's that standing floor mat. That is corrugated plastic and a thing of Reflectix. And that is what keeps me so warm. All right, so I think I have what I like. So I'm securing things with zip ties back to the door handle, which is supposed to be rugged. Uh, electrical tape, like I said, I check that uh, a lot. Uh, let me go on the inside and show you how it's looking. I wanted to get a lot more space. So, unfortunately, one set of my cabinets isn't going to fit. Why? Because um, I'm putting storage right here so I can bring stuff to the RTR. So we had to get rid of a uh, storage unit. But uh, this is how it's looking so far. And a lot of this is the cabinets were up to here and I pushed them way back. My refrigerator, I think I'll like that a lot better. I hated my fridge back there. So a lot more space. And now what I'm doing is I'm just zip tying everything together. And I'll show you more when we get there. All right, bye. I just thought I'd restate this. The cabinets are in place. But how do you know they're in place? Does the door shut? That's the most important thing. Yeah, the zip tie is going to be in the way, but that's okay. The door shuts and everything's fine. And we tested the back door too. Always check this before you start zip tying things down. So I want to see what I did. I want you to see what I did here. Okay, so the cabinet has to go in and this is a little track. So all I do is I push the tape down so it doesn't interfere with it going in. And then I'm just going to wrap it around three or four times and it should be secure. And I'll come back when I'm done. 
that's good enough. That's not going to give me any problem whatsoever because they're pretty wide. All right, one thing I can't change is this is the only cable. This leads uh, from my solar, so my battery. This battery can charge up. This is my big energy, so my big energy has to sit back here. I did not. This is my, it plugs into my refrigerator, right? And I'm going to have uh, stuff here, but it plugs into my refrigerator. I did not measure. See, all the way over there is the cabinet for the refrigerator. So I didn't check, and this is an important thing to check. Is this long enough to get juice to my refrigerator? Well, so I had to stop what I'm doing. And there's where the cable for my refrigerator will be. And yes, I have plenty of space. So, oh my gosh, I was sweating that one. I really was. Right, so this is in. Oh my gosh, that fridge scared me. Next, I got to put these two together. Not a problem. And then I made sure the door closed, but uh, we have to uh, secure it up here. So that'll be zip ties. So I may zip tie this to that. I'll figure out a way to secure it once again. All right, so one thing about these, okay? So I secure with zip ties. I do the electrical tape and everything. I'm not really worried about things going forward. Why? You know, because I'll bungee cord that down because the car is going to be going this way. If we get in an accident, the force is going to go that way. So as long as they're all connected together and there's no wiggle room, there is absolutely no wiggle room everything's going to be just fine. It is just going to be fine. Okay. For me, for me, you may say, oh my gosh, Ma, Terry, that is so dangerous. But like I said, they're going to be tied to the ceiling, tied to the doors, tied everywhere with zip ties. Uh, it'll be fine. I promise for me. All right. Everything is zip tied together. That's great. That's great. Those are great. Oh, maybe I'll do the top a little bit. But uh, next, what I'm going to do is clean this off. Uh, went through a dust storm and then we're going to work on the insulation 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 all behind us thank god i have a roll of reflectix lying around gotta stay warm right zip ties right whoops silly me i forgot to do the zip tie to the anchor points like ah uh, where did i forget like remember down here we were going to anchor this in pretty good oh my gosh what am i thinking yep i'll have to pull these out there it is, and zip tie to it. We just don't want any movement, right? We want to be safe. All right, we're just cleaning along. It's just this little, little bit of sand. Okay, just getting that out, and then I'll go by with a dry rag, and that'll be all done. Yay, spring cleaning is done. All right, it's time for another door check, and what was, this was on backwards. Um, how do you know it's on backwards? See this right here? That's a stop for the uh, cabinet so yeah and uh, I cut the zip ties so let's see one more time will the door shut gotta keep doing this over and over again a little inch could really make you flinch and what I'm starting to do is the insulation and I'm just using my old pieces but I'm gonna piece it together it'll work so I have this side tape. We can see a gap here, and all I'm going to do is tape that to that. Easy breezy. Yep, we need insulation. It's winter. End of day. Everything's in there. Everything's secure. Now all I, all I got to do is just fill it and put down some carpet in. Yeah.